So as you guys know, Season 4 of Modern Warfare is here, and with that, of course, Season 4 of Warzone. Now, in Warzone, one of the most important things when it comes to winning games is the weapons and classes that you actually use, aka your loadouts. So like I do in every single season of the game, what we are going to be doing in this video is going over the five best loadouts that you can actually use in Warzone to help you guys get some wins. These are going to include the best weapons in the game, and on top of that, the best class setups for the new weapons that were added in season four. Now, real quickly, before we dive into the video, I just wanted to take a minute to thank today's video sponsor, which is Frag Pro Shooter. Frag Pro Shooter is the number one shooter game of 2020 made specifically for mobile devices and now has over 30 million players. The rules of the game are simple. Destroy the enemy bunkers as quickly as possible. And when you do so, you gain access to the tower. When you destroy the tower, you win the game. Now to destroy the tower, you have to choose a team of five characters, and there is a ton to choose from, each of which has their own special unique abilities and powers. Once you have built your team, hop into the game where you control one character while the other four are bot controlled, but you can switch to any of your characters at any given time. And you can play in first person or third person. They have also newly introduced a new 2v2 mode where you can play with a friend or a random partner where each of you chooses three characters to send into the arena. So if you want to check out the game, click the link down below. And by clicking that link down below, you actually get yourself some free in-game items, including one golden chest, 500 coins, 50 diamonds, which is a total value of $6. So if you want to check out the game, get those free rewards. It is the first link down in the description. And of course, thank you to Frag Pro Shooter for sponsoring the video. Now, without further ado, let's dive in to the loadouts. So before we dive into these loadouts, there's a couple of things you need to know. First of all, on all of my classes, my perks and equipment are exactly the same. It never really changes. So we will probably only discuss that once and then you can just fill in the blanks on your classes. The second thing you need to know is as of right now in Warzone, as making this video a week into season four, there are a couple of weapons in Warzone that are just hands and feet above all of the other weapons. And you're going to see a couple of iterations of those individual weapons throughout these various classes i will cover that as we go but just know the reason why they are in here a couple of times is because they really are that good so the first few loadouts that we're going to look at today aren't necessarily the best in the game but they are the best with the new weapons that were added in season four the first of which the one that you are seeing here in this gameplay is probably the best out of all of them that we're going to look at it is using the fennec as your primary weapon which is an smg aka the vector with a secondary weapon of the grau which the Grau 556 is simply the best weapon in Warzone, hands down, not even close by a long shot right now. You're going to see it in a lot of classes today. Now, as far as what we're actually using in this class, let's start with the standard perks and on top of that equipment. So first of all, on almost all my classes, I use all of these perks. So first of all, cold-blooded. The reason why we're using cold-blooded is because so many people use thermal. However, it's starting to transition in the meta to the point where you can use EOD to counteract RPG. G's, C4s, and any other explosives. So one of those two first perks, I kind of cycle between EOD or cold-blooded, depending on what I'm feeling that day. On top of that, we are using overkill. This is so you can use two primary weapons, super standard in Warzone. And then finally, amped. This is something that I recently switched. I used to use tracker, but for me, it just wasn't quite worth the trade-off for not using amp. Essentially, what amp does is make it so you can switch between your weapons faster. And when being able to switch to an SMG faster in close quarters, it's extremely, extremely beneficial. So lately, I've just been using amped on all my classes, and I would recommend you guys do the same. Second of all, for our lethal and tactical, I am with every class going to be using C4. It's the biggest explosion, easiest to do damage, and easiest to control and get kills with. And also the heartbeat sensor. This is going to reveal all those enemies in close quarters and tell you where you can get into that next gunfight and in turn get more and more kills so with this class the first weapon that we are using is the fennec and the way you want to look at this weapon aka the vector is you are only ever going to use this weapon at close quarters ever 
Basically, you are looking within 20 meters. That is when you are using the Fennec. It is the only time that this weapon is good in Warzone. Now, in that range, it is very good. It essentially has no recoil, and on top of that, has a really fast fire rate, so you're going to put out a lot of damage. So you want to build the class for the Fennec around those things. So the most important attachment you're going to use is the ZLR-18 Deadfall Barrel. This is going to improve your damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. Essentially, this barrel is so good that it is the only recoil control attachment that you're actually going to need, and you don't have to use a monolithic suppressor. This barrel is the GOAT. Make sure you are using this thing. Now, the rest of this class, is based off of fast aim down sights time, bigger magazine, and reloading faster. So first of all, you are going to be using no stock, which is going to improve your movement speed and aim down sight speed. On top of that, you're using the Stippy Grippy, aka the Stippled Grip Tape, which improves, once again, your aim down sight speed and your sprint to fire speed, which is super important at close quarters. On top of that, you're going to use the 40 round drum. Because of that fast fire rate, you are going to burn through ammo, which means you need more ammo capacity, which is what the 40 round drum does. And then sleight of hand because even though you have that 40 round drum it is still a small magazine on this weapon because of that fast fire rate i would much prefer a 60 round drum but that doesn't exist currently on this weapon so is this the best smg in the game no i think both the mp7 and mp5 are better but it's a new weapon so i wanted to show it to you guys now for our second weapon here we're using the growl now anytime i mention the growl for the rest of the video unless i say otherwise this is the class setup that i use with it First of all, monolithic suppressor to keep you off that radar, also to improve your damage range. Second of all, the Archangel Barrel. This is the most important attachment on your Grau. It actually doubles your range over top of any other barrel. Even if you use the Nexus Barrel, the Archangel actually raises your damage range double that of the Nexus Barrel. So make sure you have the Archangel Barrel. Super, super important. Also basically makes it so you have no recoil on this weapon whatsoever. On top of that, I'm using 60 round mags to improve that magazine size, make it so you have to reload less. If you're playing quads or trios, this is absolutely necessary. If you're playing duos or solos, this attachment isn't quite as necessary. And then the commando foregrip to once again, reduce that recoil, make it easier to aim, basically so you can pick people off at really long range because on this class, you have no sniper rifle. So basically, this is your sniper rifle. And then finally, the tack laser to improve your aim down sight speed and make it so you can snap onto target that much faster. This class is really, really good. It has the best weapon in the game of the growl. And when you're up close and personal, you have the fennec to just absolutely Absolutely melt people and like I said make sure you were only using that fennec at short range the second class we have here is using the other new weapon the CR 56 a max aka the Galil and the weapon that we are using alongside this one is the mp5 once again with the same perks and on top of that the same equipment but the important part of this one is using the mp5 with the a max and the reason for that is because basically you're going to use the a max as a long range to sniper ranged weapon whereas the the MP5 is going to be your mid to short range weapon. MP5, in my opinion, is the best SMG in the game. It absolutely shreds, and we'll get into that class in a second. But let's start out with the AMAX. Now, this one is important because basically everything we're using on here is important. I wouldn't really change up anything on here. And you'll see why we use this, and it's a little bit strange. So first of all, the monolithic suppressor makes it so you have the sound suppression, once again, staying off that mini map. And on top of that, it improves your damage range. So that is why we are using that. On top of that, the Zodiac Barrel, the reason why we're using this one is, first of all, for the damage range of bullet velocity, but more importantly, that recoil control. Recoil is basically going to be your biggest problem with this weapon, so as you're going to see, we use a bunch of recoil control attachments to make that a little bit easier. On top of this, we are using the Merc Foregrip. Once again, for that recoil control, the hipfire accuracy doesn't really matter that much, but it's mainly for the recoil control. On top of that, we are using 45 round magazines just to once again extend that magazine size to make it easier to use in quads and trios. And then finally, we are also using the VLK 3x Optic. This is probably the weirdest attachment that you're going to see on here. The reason why we're using it is actually something that it doesn't say on screen right here. It actually improves the recoil on the weapon, therefore making it easier to aim at enemies. And like I said, you're going to be using this weapon at mid to long range. So that is why all of these attachments play together. Looking at this class, you may realize that most of these attachments actually slow down the aim down sights, sprint out, and move speed of this weapon. So like I said, this is the weapon that you're going to want to be using at long range. Now, one thing you may not know about this weapon is that mid range, its pick potential 
Vigil is actually better than the Grouse. If you're hitting upper body and headshots, this gun can kill faster than the Grouse. The problem with this weapon is it's not nearly, not even close to as accurate as the Grouse, and it doesn't have as fast of a fire rate. So, you have to be accurate with this weapon, and like I said, you're going to want to be using it at long range. If you start using this weapon at close range, that is when you're going to get burnt with it. But that is why we are using this class with the MP5, because this MP5 is going to be fully built around close quarters engagements. Now, the first trick to using an MP5 in Warzone is to not use a monolithic suppressor. Instead, use the subsonic integral suppressor. It says that it, it decreases bullet velocity, but it actually extends the damage range of the weapon. It actually doubles the damage range at mid-range, so you want to use the integral suppressor. On top of that, it's going to improve your aim down sight speed and keep you off that mini-map, which is so important on Warzone. This is basically the best attachment on this weapon. On top of this, we are using the Merc foregrip. This is simply for hip fire accuracy, recoil control, make it a little bit easier to shoot people who are a little bit further away from you. But everything else, the stippled grip tape is for the aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed. Like I said, you're using this thing at close range. Also, you're gonna use the 45 round magazines to extend the magazine once again, super important in trios and quads and then finally sleight of hand because even though you have the 45 round mags you're still going to go through ammo pretty damn quickly so this is basically anytime i say i'm using the mp5 this is the class setup you're going to want to go towards now every time i make a warzone loadout video i try to make one class for solos players this class is a variation of the last class we just looked at with only two changes and it makes it deadly in solos. So this class is once again with the AMX. The only thing that you are changing is the ammunition from the 45 round mags to the 10 R mags. Now this makes it so you only have 10 rounds in your magazine, but it ups the damage, aim down sight speed, and makes it semi-automatic. So at long range, you just shred people with this gun. Literally melt them. You can use it like a sniper rifle. Very very low recoil as long as you're using that Merc foregrip and you can literally just pick people off with this thing. It's pretty damn awesome. The change that you're making to the MP5 is since you are only using this in solos, you don't need the extended mag on it so you can put the 10 millimeter rounds on it and make it so it's a little bit better at longer ranges. This class is super good in solos. I definitely recommend trying it out if you're a solo player. I guarantee it's going to help you get some dubs. So the next three classes that we're actually going to look at here are all very, very similar and they all revolve around the Grau. The reasoning for that is because the Grau is absolutely the best weapon in the game as of right now. It's a sniper, it's an SMG, it's an assault rifle, all built into one and it excels at every single range in the game. Now, all of these classes are going to be very similar, the first of which revolves around the Grau 556 and the MP5. In fact, this Grau and this MP5 are the exact same classes that we actually looked at earlier the growl with the archangel barrel commando foregrip 60 round mags tack laser and monolithic suppressor and the mp5 with the monolithic integral suppressor merc foregrip 45 round mags stippled grip tape and sleight of hand so like i said exactly the same as we looked at before so essentially the magic of this class is you have the best assault rifle aka the best sniper literally you can just pick people off with this gun especially if you're mounted to a surface and on top of that you also have the best smg with the mp5 it has an amazing time to kill up close if you get headshots it absolutely melts people so you put these two guns together into class and you're going to absolutely be shredding people so the next class we have here is just a little bit of an exception to the last class so say in the middle of the game you die your teammate buys you back and you have to go get a loadout right away but you don't have any ammo on you you're gonna want a fully loaded class so this once again is just taking the two best weapons the grau 556 and the mp5 and changing up one thing about the class so for example with my grau 556 i take off the tack laser and put on fully loaded that way when i respawn get my loadout i have full ammo for this yes it's a little bit worse of a weapon but at least you have ammo to actually shoot people similarly with the mp5 the one that we're changing on this one is instead of using sleight of hand you are going to be using fully loaded once again the weapon's almost exactly the same just doesn't reload as fast and you have full ammo for this weapon so literally almost identical to the other class the only difference is you were using fully loaded on it now the final class we have here is just kind of like the fun class the one i enjoy using it is with a sniper and the grau so this one is a little bit different the main difference is on the grau i'm using a little bit different of attachments first of all i'm not using a commando foregrip 
I am not using a stippled grip tape. Instead, I am using no stock to improve the movement speed and aim down sight speed with your normal attachments like the monolithic suppressor, Archangel, and tack laser. The reason why I do this is because it makes it perform a little bit more like an SMG and to be able to use it a little bit more at closer range for faster aim down sights time because at long range, I have a sniper rifle. Now, since I made a video previously in season three, I have changed up my sniper class just a little bit. So I'm still using the monolithic suppressor 26.9 HDR pro barrel, but the difference is I'm now using the tack laser for a faster aim down sights time. I'm using the F tack stalker scout stock for a faster aim down sights time. And I'm using presence of mind so that I can aim down sights longer. The main difference is I am no longer using a thermal scope. The reason for that, too many people are using cold blooded and I actually find it easier to see people now if you just use a normal scope on a sniper rifle. The reason why I'm using the HDR over the AX50 is because it's just a little easier to aim with. You don't have to adjust for bullet drop nearly as much as the AX50, so I find it easier to actually snipe people. So that is why I use this weapon with no thermal scope and honestly I really enjoy this class yes it's not as good as with the mp5 simply you don't get that super fast killing close range weapon but it is still a lot of fun and the grouse still does really really well at close quarters especially with these attachments so I recommend giving it a shot letting me know what you think but these are all of the classes that we have today hopefully these were able to help you out get you some more kills get you some more dubs the only other thing I will say is it is possible that in the next coming weeks we do get a weapon balancing patch maybe the grow gets nerf maybe some other weapons get buffed and if that does happen i will make another video letting you guys know what has changed in the meta what weapons you should be using instead but as of right now these are the best classes and best loadouts for warzone hopefully i was able to help you out if i was please hit that like button it does really help out the channel if you're new to the channel like what you see here and want to stay up to date on all my videos make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you turn notifications on i hope you enjoyed the video and until next time peace out we are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making